You didn't think that was all I was going to do, did you? A test of a knife is to see what it will go through. How well will that tip hold up? Well, I don't know about you, but this looks like a pretty good way to check that out. That's in there quite a bit. Not all the way through, but it's in there. Now it's all the way through. Let's grab another one. Here again, the Mora is a Mora. You expect it. Here's the Ridge Runner. right through. So how about the Wahoo Killer? I'm putting these in at different angles so they're not, you know, taking advantage of a split from the previous one. through too. So all three knives went right through and uh, you know, oh, it's doggone flies. You know, you gonna take it? I don't know. Kind of looks like they'll take a little abuse to me. Get them out, of course. This is going to be another story, I'm sure. Uh. <laughs> we may have to figure something else out to get that out. There's much blade sticking out the other side, so it's making it kind of tough to baton it. <laughs> I may have to get some other tools involved to get these out. There's number two down. Number two. So far, I'm still kind of impressed with them. This is stuff you should never do this with your knife under any circumstances. That's why you have axes and saws and that kind of thing. Now, as I'm sitting here with this killer, I can feel that the tang goes to about here. So I know it doesn't go very far in. But, maybe Maybe I've loosened it up a little more, and I can get it out. The blades themselves... Ugh. Got it out. <laughs> Was that a drag or what? The blades themselves seem pretty darn solid. I've got no complaints about that. Now I use the tip to go through there, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's kind of warm from trying to take it out, moving it so much. Well, it's still, when I sharpen a knife, I sharpen it all the way to the tip. And the tip, the belly of the knife up here, 
will still shave hair off my arm. I'm, you know, it doesn't seem right to give them a pass because two of them did, two of the three did break. And I don't know. I'm, I am still going to pass them because this is not something you should ever do with a knife. They're just not made for it. You should never hit the back of your knife. Especially on a knife that is not full tang. So, I'm going to give them a pass anyway because A, through some even adverse use with batoning, they held an edge really well. Um, you know, even though this is broken, it still takes hair off. So, even though it's still broken, what do you say? You know, it's, uh, they seem like pretty decent knife to me. The handles are really comfortable. I wouldn't rely on any knife that's not a full tang for this kind of abuse. But for normal bushcraft use, I don't see why they wouldn't do okay. It did suck having to have, having to sharpen them right out of the box. But, uh, you know, that's just the way it is sometimes. And hopefully, I'll be able to get my mora out of here without breaking it. <laughs> But the Mora is, I think, a much stronger knife. Just from, you know, past experience. I've seen a lot of tests with the uh, companions and the other Bushcraft Black and stuff. I've never seen anybody take the 511 and uh, give it this kind of a test. But I'll tell you what, this knife is worth every penny of eight bucks. So maybe, flies, I tell you, they're all over here today. Um, if you're in the market for a decent bushcraft knife and you don't have a lot of money to spend, uh, if you've got enough, I would spend the extra and buy the Mora. It's not a lot more. Uh, the two most expensive of these three knives the $5 one and the $6 one, or $4 one and $6 one, both broke. The only one that didn't break was the $2 one. And that had no coating on it, so maybe, maybe that's a baked on coating, and when they baked it on, that screwed with the temper and the steel. I don't know. It's hard to say. But, still don't know how I'm going to get that more out of there. I might have to Get, I'll have to get something else to help it out. I'll have to get this blade out before I finish processing this stuff, but hey, it is what it is. And I will use an axe to finish it, because <laughs> that is the intended purpose of an axe, is to cut through that way uh, for splitting and stuff. So, y'all stay safe, God bless, and have a great day. Hey guys, I'm back in the house where the biting flies ain't biting me. Um, the Mora suffered a little damage as I was taking it out. But guess what? That goes to show you how far that tang goes into a Mora knife. Goes in about that, at least that far. Actually right about there. So it goes in that far. That's quite a ways for an inexpensive knife. I have no doubt that the handle is molded onto the knife and there's this notch there's a notch here that helps hold it in there. Obviously I had to do some pretty heavy prying and pulling and crap to get it out of there. But it held up. So the $8 Mora 511, it doesn't say anything on here, just Mora Sweden, is worth the money. In my book, I mean, I can stick this back on, so I will. And I'll probably just drop drop a little epoxy in there to hold it. <sighs> it's that pine pitch all over my hands now. The other two that did break, you know what? 
I totally abused those knives. That was totally not what they were made for. And keep in mind, that was my second time doing this video. I did all of these tests with these knives before. So they've really been abused. You know, a lot of knives will take that the first time around. The second time around, I don't expect too many knives to be able to take it. Um, you know, I drove that straight through that log. And, well, log, big stick, whatever you want to call it. It was, uh, you know, two and two and a quarter inches across. I mean, that was a pretty big log, and I drove them all the way through there. Um, you know, the first one that broke, I saw a little spot down at the uh, down towards the bottom of the edge there after I looked at it closer that could have been a workmanship defect, and that kind of stuff happens. You know, the quality control on these is obviously not real high, but um, they're pretty good knives. That Wahoo Killer, I was impressed. For a $2 knife, that thing did everything I asked it to do and then some. I think I'm going to order a couple more. So, just to have them around, never hurts to have a good fixed blade knife around that you can beat up. My wife will use them in the garden and stuff, so they'll get tore up pretty bad. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the testing, and uh, look forward to some more coming up. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay safe, and God bless.